the, it's an absolutely amazing process to come up with what you think is a good idea, but you're not sure that maybe anyone else will. Put up a website about it and not just have people spend $30 on your product or want to be on your email list, but change their whole life, sell their house, uproot themselves, and come and move to it and live it. Ten years, it's sort of, it is sort of amazing, um, both how like time has, has flown by and how in some ways it's like, wow, did we ever think we'd even make it ten years and, and be here today? So with this uh, transfer yes, of the last payment and the promissory note, we will conclude uh, Dancing Rabbit Land Trust's mortgage and promissory note with uh, Peach okay. and uh, be able to have that behind us. Well, when we bought our land in 1997, there weren't any houses on it. So any house that we have now has been built by the hard work and sweat of the rabbits here. And of course, we've built quite a bit of them. And it's been great to see that growth. So yeah, so then in spring of 98, we had we decided it was, you know we had, we just bought the land in October '97, so it was our first building season. We had the guts, we had the willpower, we had the motivation, and we had Tom. <laughs> <laughs> and so it was time to get started. I feel like Dancing Rabbit is like on the right track. Like I don't feel like we need to like you know shift gears or change directions or like anything like that. I feel if anything we need to just sort of like expand what we're doing like keep on doing it and like if any or if anything expand the like outreach part of things and the like telling the world and you know sharing our ideas and so i've i have you know renewed enthusiasm you know to try and take more of my time and focus it on you know um you know whether it's writing or speaking or you know inviting more people here or whatever the different things are that somehow get the word out more like take what we've learned and share that and inspire people and make more of a difference in that way. Recognize its worth, but you know that this is true. We couldn't do it without you. We're so glad that you're helping build our dream. I think what was most amazing this weekend to me was just like how many amazing people were have been part of Dancing Rabbit over the years and just like all the cool things that they're doing now I mean just amazing artists and they're doing activism in this place they're living in this community in that community and you know just doing cool jobs and doing cool things for the environment and and you know how many friends that I've made over the years and you know how many people came back and I'm just like wow I'm so glad to see you and you know, like I haven't seen you in five years but you know having lived together for you know so intensely here uh, they were really special people in my life and just how much of an impact they had on Dancing Rabbit and you know how they how many like just how many people helped shape and form and guide and create what Dancing Rabbit is now. Come back to Rabbit. It's just not the same since you went away before you lose your sunset. Anytime we get people who come back who haven't been here in a long time, um, you can see the amazement for them, just like how much has changed and how much you know has been done. And, and you lose some of that when you're here day to day because it's like you get used to like, oh yeah, that building has always been there. It's like, well, only for six months, you know, or and something like that. And so someone comes back after five years and everything's completely different. And, um, you know, so that like renews that sort of like, oh yeah, we have been like accomplishing so much and doing so much and we've made so much progress. And, and so that's really exciting. Our culture, as are most cultures, is a way for people to fall into a pathway that's predetermined by the pathways of the culture. And the people who break free of that and forge their own path are, are magical. They are, they are the magicians of the culture. They are the trailblazers. And it's important that people at Dancing Rabbit not forget how special they are and how much what they're doing resonates with the people who want to do something ecological and hear about this. And it's an inspiration. Even if people don't live this lifestyle, the fact that people are doing it, 
the fact that there's a living example that you can break the mold and do something better for your life and for the earth is a, is a magical thing.